I've got cancer. Are there any treatments I'm doing in addition to conventional chemotherapy and immunotherapy to possibly increase my chances of healing? You better believe it. I've only got one chance at this. So if you have cancer, grab a pen and paper because I'm about to tell you some of the various integrative or complementary treatments I'm also doing. We've all had vitamin C supplements, which are usually a few hundred milligrams. Vitamin C in extremely high doses, we're talking 15 grams and upwards, taken intravenously, goes from being an antioxidant to being a pro-oxidant towards cancer cells, which effectively rusts the cancer. And though you don't just land up peeing it all out. I have it combined with vitamin K3, also in an IV, which enhances the toxicity towards cancer cells 10 to 50 times. So why do it? Well, it has anti-tumor properties as well as immune building properties. By the way, it's not recommended to do any form of vitamin C for the few days around chemo time, as it can counter the efficacy of chemotherapy. Photodynamic therapy, or PDT. Now, this is very space age. They put curcumin, or EGCG, which is green tea, administered by an IV into your bloodstream. They're known as photosensitizers. They're absorbed by the circulating cancer cells and are color stained. Cancer becomes a marked target. At the same time, they put a fiber optic cable into your vein, which shines a color coded laser light onto the passing blood cells. When a color coded dyed circulating tumor cell, is hit by the light, it has what's called a photobiochemical reaction, turning the oxygen in that specific cell into a violently reactive form of oxygen, which kills the affected cell. What happens in essence, a small targeted explosion in the circulating tumor cell, killing only that cell. And if you think that is cool, it gets even better. DCA or dichloroacetate works on the principle of the Trojan horse. So in combination with a sugar-free diet, which hopefully you're on, DCA mimics sugar in a way that healthy cells don't absorb it, whereas cancer cells do. And once inside the cancer cells, it releases a self-destruct signal in the cell, which triggers apoptosis or a programmed cell death. I have DCA orally with tablets as well as intravenously once a week. Helexor. This is a herb you know as mistletoe. Yep, the stuff you put above a door at Christmas if you want to kiss somebody. Well, it gets injected into my tummy twice a week and oh, it is sore. What it does, it creates an acute inflammatory response to the site, different to the chronic inflammatory responses that we want to avoid. And this response wakes up the immune system and it responds as if it's dealing with cancer. And onto another herb treatment. Every day I nebulize with Helleborus niger, which is actually the Christmas rose flower. It's shown to have anti-cancer properties. It also lowers chronic inflammation and has shown improvement in pain. So you've heard of O2, but have you heard of O3? This is ozone therapy. It's oxygen or O2 with an extra oxygen molecule. Mimicking the primary defense of the body, ozone releases that extra oxygen molecule when it enters the bloodstream and it kills anaerobic or cancer cells. Oxygenated blood boosts the immune system and also aids the other therapies that you're doing as well. So I receive ozone in two ways, intravenously once a week and also by sitting in an ozone pod once a week for about 30 minutes. Skio. This is quantum physics at work. Skio is referred to as energetic medicine. It scans your body for energy imbalances, which can be an early warning sign of issues, and it reharmonizes the body on a cellular level. It traces and removes specific viruses, bacteria, helps reduce inflammation, and also tracks and holds cellular degeneration. It's not invasive. You don't feel a thing. Skio I do once a week. Staying with quantum energy, I do quantum energy counseling with an amazing South African doctor in the UK. So what happens is cells retain emotion and you hold on to trauma from the past, which can cause dis-ease and then disease in your body. So QEC is the ability to reprogram your subconscious mind, which is your body's supercomputer that controls your autonomic nervous system. It releases the trauma of the past so your body can get out of fight or flight mode and actually start healing itself. Did you know your organs need room to jiggle around? 
Well, visceral manipulation restores the normal movement of your internal organs using very subtle manipulation. So organs can be restricted because of inflammation and the subtle manipulation of the body organs ensures optimal movement and motility and can help you heal. So I go for that therapy about every six weeks. So these are some of the additional treatments I'm doing in addition to conventional chemotherapy and immunotherapy. It's a lot, I know, but I'm not sitting back waiting for fate to take over here. Integrative medicine is used by some of the leading cancer centers in Germany, Mexico, and even Turkey. And even though it's science-based, it's still tabooed by many conventional doctors and big pharma. Yet it's embraced by those who actually see there's a bigger picture, realizing that integrative therapy complements traditional therapy, such as chemotherapy and big pharma medication. I firmly believe that this will be a standard treatment in years to come, but for now, there are only a few progressive doctors doing it right here in South Africa. And I'll have a little post note in this video's written description of where I go for these various treatments in Johannesburg. Thanks for watching. Please share this video with someone you know who's going through cancer. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you know when the next video is coming out. Catch you again soon. Ooh.